Mr. Castanet, have you heard from your son's nanny since the abduction? What? That I was calling and made a ransom demand. If she had, I would have paid it by now. Why are you even... Well, in cases like this, parents are often contacted by the kidnapper and warned not to cooperate with the police. Now, I can assure you that could be the worst mistake you could make. So if you're still rolling out of fear, it's not going to help. Fear? Oh, I'm afraid, Detective, because some psycho took my son. Look, I pray that all Colleen wants is money. Because if she calls and asks for a ransom, I'll give it to her, no questions asked. That's what she's counting on. So if she's contacted you, you need to let her know. She hasn't contacted me, and she won't contact me, because it's not money that she wants. It's me that she wants. And because I turned her down, because I ruined her delusion of a perfect little family, she took Spencer to start a new one of her own. You can't jump to conclusions. Jump to conclusions? You want conclusions? My son is missing, and you guys aren't doing enough to find him. You need to calm down. We're trying to help. You want to help? Then go out there and find my son, instead of standing there asking me questions that I already know. Nicholas? I think you should take Nicholas home. I'm not going anywhere until Colleen McHenry, whatever the hell her name is, is in custody. I'm not going anywhere. The best thing we can do for Spencer is just to go home and let the police do their job. You want me to go? Okay, fine. I'll go find my son on my own. Nicholas! I'm at the launch, Nicholas, Emily. Just, just go back to the station and tell Lucky you did your duty. You need to calm down. No. No, I don't want to calm down. I'm sick of people trying to tell me to calm down. My son is out there somewhere, alone, and scared to death, because I couldn't keep him safe. No, that is not true. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Everyone tried to warn me, Emily. You, Helena, even Jackson Carly, they lied to me for months because they didn't think I could keep him safe, and it turns out they were right. And I was too concerned with claiming what was mine to listen. How could I, how could I let this happen to my son? I, br I brought her into my home, Emily. I gave her access to my son. And now he's, and now he's gone. He's, he's gone. Nicholas, the police are doing everything they can. But they're not doing enough! I have to do something! You want to do something? You start by pulling yourself together. Colleen was referred to you by reputable agencies. She had years of experience as, as well as impeccable references. And plus, you had no way of knowing what she was capable of. I had you. From the moment you met Colleen, you had doubts about her, and I, would, I just wouldn't hear any of it. If I had listened to you last night, instead of insisting that the police focus all their attention on my grandmother, who knows? Oh, where would we be right now? Brought Colleen into Spencer's life, not you. I just, I just want, I want him to be safe. I miss him so much already. I know. You know? I know. And we're gonna find him, Nicholas. We are. Okay. Police are closing in on him, and, and, and she decides to just leave Spencer somewhere, or, or worse. What, what? No, 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 Colleen has always taken excellent care of Spencer. There's no way that she would ever.